know, it's like if you are a person that you're not really into, you know, watching people that use the same products over and over, then I do apologize. Um, I'm just a person that believes in using the products that I pay for. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. My name is Shaquita Beauty with Kui here on Kui TV, where over here we do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that's something that might interest you, I hope that you will subscribe and click the bell to be notified each and every time I upload, which is once a week, every Monday at 5 p.m. Easter Standard Time. So on today's video, I'm just going to be doing a quick get ready with me. No moisturizer, no nothing like, girl, what is you doing? So for moisturizer, I'm just going to moisturize the face using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Wood Body Balm. And this is for dry to extra dry skin. And although I have combination skin, I love using this because it's not like too oily. It's kind of like that silicone, um, that silicone texture, but you could tell it's, well, no, I'm not going to even say it kind of mimics that silicone feel, but not, not quite if you know what I mean. So now that I have like a little moisturizer on, I'm going to take that 16 hour camo concealer and I'm just, any places where I'm normally like dark, I'm going to put them in that area. And normally in this area here. I'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead to make sure that I have coverage there. Okay, so I let the concealer sit a little bit to dry down so it can become more full coverage. That's just a little tip for you you know if you're not wanting to put much on your face but you do however want that coverage to cover up those dark spots then let let the concealer sit for a while and then proceed with blending it out rather it be a brush or a sponge for my natural minimal looks i prefer a sponge which is of course my sonia kashik sponge and as you can see instantly it gives me that coverage that I am looking for. So since we did that, I'm still going to conceal. And I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso. And I'm just going to, of course, highlight under the eye. And then, of course, down the bridge of the nose. And notice we're not using that much product. A little bit here and a little bit here. Okay, see how it gives us just like a little highlight, but not too much. I kind of feel like this is too bright. Okay, that's better. So see how it gives us just a little highlight, but not too much, you know? And then don't forget that bridge of the nose. And notice that we we barely even put, I didn't put any product on my nose. Um, the first concealer, the e.l.f. concealer. And that is because, you know, my nose naturally gets oily. And when I'm doing a minimal look and I don't want it to look too done up, I will not put product there. I'll just take the rest that's on my sponge and just go over it lightly. So per usual, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade 35 Deep. And I'm going to use my sponge for this. And look up that way you can get that powder into those creases if you have any under your eyes because um, if you're a person not sure where the camera started stopped I apologize and what I'm using now is I'm using my sponge with my Maybelline fit me loose um, finishing powder in the shade 35 deep 
and I am just setting those highlighted areas that we set with um uh we're setting that LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Expresso. I'm just using the sponge to do so because with the minimal look, you still want to make sure that you have that coverage. So I would say with a minimal look, really the powder is the star of the show. But if you're the per if you're a person where you don't like to use creams or powders, I mean creams or liquids, then you know. That, that's half of your battle right there. <laughs> and then to set all over the face, I'm using my Of Course Zuri Flawless Press Powder in the shade Hot Cocoa. Get you a powder that matches. Hold on. Get you a powder that matches, you know, your skin complexion. Y'all, forgive me for using the same products. Like if you a uh, person that you're not really into you know watching people that use the same products over and over then I do apologize um, I'm just a person that believes in using the products that I pay for like I I don't get PR I don't get you know sponsor videos or nothing like that everything that you see on my channel is brought with my money so I'm going to use it uh, you may see me wear item more than one time again because I pay for these items you know um, I would love to get like PR and stuff like that but I'm still the type that believes in using my products because I just feel like it's wasteful to get all of that stuff and then you end up not using it like and if you're that person, you know, no shade, I just, I prefer to use all of my products. So next, I'm just going to sculpt a little bit on the face using my Juvia Saharan Blush, Blush Volume 1 Palette. And I'm going to grab the shade Abide right here, which is like a deep purpley shade. And I'm just grabbing like this little, it's like a, it's a highlight brush. But I like to use it just to sculpt the depths of my cheeks. And you can like suck in like that and then sculpt. Because you see that indentation. Just something that I like to do every so often. And I'm going to go over the nose with that also. Not um, any additional product. Just the rest that's on my brush. And I'm just using that to really... draw shape back into my nose and then once I do that I'm going to use my Morphe Glamour Bronze Prodigy Bronzer and which is this shade right here and I'm going to go over the shade Abide and that's just basically going to blend that purple shade out and don't be scared to use that shade neither because um, even though it's purple in the pan, when, when, as long as you don't go ham with it and you really take your time to blend it out, um, it will not show up purple on your skin. Like literally on some of my most popular pictures on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, I've used that to contour with. I'm just going to set my face. This is what I got from... Marshalls and it's the Coop and Daisy Up All Night Makeup Setting Spray Mattifying Spray and I've been liking it so far. I'm just going to use that to set my face. And now it is time for brows. I'm going to use my ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in the shade Soft Brown and I'm just going to scope out not scope out but run this through my natural brows okay so as you can see that's just with the eyebrow gel next I'm going to use like an angled brush mm. 
my LA Girl Brow Palmy, also in the shade Soft Black. And I'm just going to use this to basically give me a tail at the end of my natural brows. Okay, so I had to be quiet while I did that part because, you know, I got to focus <laughs> and ear thing else. But these are how the eyebrows are looking. And I think they, they, I think I slayed them. I think I did. So next I'm going to go into the It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetic Palette, which looks like that. And as soon as I find my bright, I'm just going to take this color brick right here. And I'm just going, oh, okay. Yeah, not, not that color. <laughs> Where is my palette? Too red. I'm going to go into the... Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place and grab this shade right here. Udit. Udit. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I like to take that shade right there. And I'm just going to use that to set that concealer under my eyebrows. So next, I'm going to go to this palette and then grab the shade Brick because that's like more of a peachy color. And I'm just going to work that into my crease. And I'm not use, doing this in no uniform way. Because this is supposed to be like, you know, you ain't pulling out all the stops and, you know, no grand technique, you know. I think I want to do just a shimmer on the leg, so... I'm going to use the shade Scarlet right here, and I'm just going to swipe that on the lid. Not putting too much of it on there because I don't want it to look all made up, you know, just a little bit. And then I'm going to also mix the shade Top Notch. I'm going to put some of that on there too. But just like towards the center. So next I'm going to use my CoverGirl Lash Blash Amplified Primer. And I'm going to apply this to the lashes because I will not be wearing false lashes. And every time I do this, people always think I have on like false lashes and everything, but it's just this. And while that's drying down a little bit, I'm gonna take the little bit of Zara out of the Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette, and I'm just gonna highlight just a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to highlight the nose. And you guys, this thing is so pigmented, I like barely have to like, I just like lightly tap it and 
it's giving me just the right amount that I need. And trust me, this has come through trial and air. Okay, you guys, so this is the outfit that I did with the makeup look. As you can see, the makeup was very minimal. So, therefore, I did very minimum on the outfit. I have me some jean Bermuda shorts with a basic white tee. This cute little purse that I got from Shein. It's like a, you know, a little clutch, little purse. My hat is from the Shein, and so is my glasses. Come on, so you can catch the vibe. And me some gray, black, and white Nikes. And very cute and very, you know, appropriate. We're heading into summertime. So I thought that this would be a cute little outfit for you to wear or whatever out and about and still be comfortable, not too hot, you know, not too exposed neither, because that's not really my style. But yeah, this is the outfit with my gold hoops. I'm the type that will do that, okay? It's not that serious. But, and yeah, you look very cute. You still like to put yourself together. But then, when you take off your glasses, you know, you still, you know, got a nice semi-beat face. And you just look like you're ready to take on today. But, you know, you just still want to be casual as well as fashion forward so yeah let me bring you in closer so hope you can see me okay so these are the glasses just like that girl catch you a vibe catch you a vibe 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 and my little faded faded gray jean hat it ties in because I have the gray on my Nikes. So, yeah. So, this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If so, you already know what to do. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And click the bell so that you will not miss another upload with me. Another upload from me. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead on and head out, do what I got to do before it gets too late and stuff start closing. And I will see you on the next video. Bye. Mwah.